Whenever I have a suspicion or a doubt regarding something which I want or I'm supposed to believe in, and there's not, it's something that there's not enough data to sort of verify. For example, uh, you're talking to somebody and you, he tells you, look, if you read every single day, you're going to be very successful when you're older. Obviously, if you read uh, success self-help business books, not just uh, fiction books. Um, so you're like, okay, um, I don't know if I can trust this piece of data. Or I had a conversation with my father about a year ago and I told him, look, um, milk and like dairy products and meat, it basically causes you, especially dairy, it causes you to have these big tits where guys have like these big boobs like women. That's because of the dairy and then the, the big gut is usually because of the meat. So he, again, he was like, well, how do I know this? How do I know that, you know, the soy milk doesn't cause me to also have the big tits? So I just asked him, look, do you know any vegan who has big tits? And he says, no. Do you know any dairy people that drink a lot of dairy or eat a lot of dairy and have big tits? He says, yeah. Okay, so there you go. You have a very clear correlation that soy milk doesn't make you have uh, bitch tits and dairy probably does. And let's relate this to the success example with the su success books. Would I become successful if I read a book, uh, you know, every day, like, you know, read for two hours every day? Well, do you know any people who read a lot, like two hours every day or even one hour every day and they're like 40, 50, 60 years old and they're not successful? I've never met one. Do you know anybody who doesn't read books and who's not successful? Well, pretty much every single person that's unsuccessful that I know doesn't read books. Whoa, that's an amazing correlation. So um, basically when you have this kind of a doubt regarding something you're doing, like, will going to the gym every day make me uh, really, uh, you know, s strong and fit and healthy? Well, let's go look at people who uh, go to the gym every day. Now, let's say you don't know any people who go to the gym every day. You can use the negative to actually disprove the, the doubt. So, well, let's look at people who don't go to the gym at all, which is the opposite extreme. Do they often uh, have a lot of strength? Are they in really good fitness? Of course not. So, you see, you very easily prove and disprove things which you might doubt using simple correlation and when the evidence for that correlation doesn't exist explicitly you can use the negative by using the opposite end of that correlation to also uh, prove or disprove the doubt so next time you're having doubts regarding something you're doing maybe you started on a really cool diet maybe you want to i don't know join scientology maybe you want to work on your fitness or you want to get on and take on a new habit in order to buy in to really believe in that habit if you have that doubt you really just want to uh prove or disprove the data using correlation or negative correlation so this is a technique that I've been using for pretty much the, the first time I found, about, found out about it was when I talked to my dad a year ago. I was like, whoa, this is really effective to explain shit. Because <laughs> when I told him, like, do you know any people who drink dairy, who have tits? Yes. Do you know anybody who drinks soy milk who has tits? No. Okay, there you go. Done. And he was like, whoa right <laughs> so when I when I learned that uh, I was like shit where else can I use that because that was like fucking effective and um, and yeah and anytime I'm I've, um, 
took upon like a new habit, a goal. Anytime I had doubts regarding my path in life, I, I would just ask myself like if somebody takes on these kinds of behaviors, what am I likely to see? Am I likely to see, to see this person becoming successful? Do I know anybody who's unsuccessful that has these behaviors? And, and don't look like a year from now. Look like at age 30, 40, 50. How do people, what do people think about Scientology when they're 40 or 50? I mean, if they've been, they've been there for a long time. What do people think about reading books every day if they've done it for a long time? Or the opposite, how do people look if they don't read books and they're 50? How do they uh, look physically and mentally if they don't work out and they're 50 or 60? So use this method to prove and disprove shit. It's super effective. It's so amazing. It makes life so much simpler because now you don't have to guess shit. Now you don't have to doubt shit. Now you can just use your own common sense using this simple, effective tool. So I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet, now would be a good time. I upload five videos every single day and I'm releasing a new book uh, the end of the month. Uh, talk to you soon.